Well, I'm here with Will Swain from Marketing Results in Brisbane, Australia. Hi, Will. Hi, Justin. How are you going? I'm good. How are you? So, Very well, thanks. So we've just completed a project with uh, Marketing Results. Can you tell us first a, a little bit about what Marketing Results does? Uh, essentially, we're a web development and internet marketing firm. We specialize in setting up high-throughput lead generation uh, marketing programs for our clients using the web. Okay, and the thing that appeals to me about your business is your clients uh, pay you a fixed monthly fee ad infinitum. Yeah, we sort of have two engagement models. Typically, if they don't have a website or a, a system like the kind that we implement, we'll set that up for them and then thereafter have a retainer model uh, beyond that. Or if they have something already, then we typically work with them on a month-by-month -month basis, um, as you say, ad infinitum. Okay, terrific. So why did you engage Ballistics in the first place? Uh, there are a couple of reasons. Um, one is because uh, I think probably the dominant reason is I was keen to scale the business and in order to do that um, we needed to make things more efficient, firstly from a sales perspective and uh, also from a production perspective. Uh, from a sales perspective I wanted to free up more of my time so that I was, uh, because I'm I suppose the, the chief salesperson, I wanted to make my time uh, more efficient so that I was only involved in the sales process uh, at the most critical times and um, have other people to coordinate things around that to ensure that um, sales opportunities are, you know, appear on my desk um, when the time comes. Uh, and the other thing was the production angle. Um, because we'd sort of grown from a, a small base, you know, basically myself originally, seven years ago, uh, the model we ar arrived at was a little bit like a craft shop. Um, and we needed to, it, it, it lacked the scalability and we wanted to uh, change things to be more scalable and, and grow and get over some you know, key growth hurdles. Good, so can you describe uh, what we did? Yeah, look, there was a couple of uh, key things, I suppose, looking at the, the sales process firstly. Um, according to your process, uh, we hired a sales coordinator, which is a person to coordinate um, a lot of the activities around uh, the sales process and basically schedule my time so that I was basically being wheeled in to conduct what we call diagnostic interviews, which are one-on-one -on -one sales interviews or sales consultations, if you like, with our clients. The rest of the process, the booking people into the appointments, the managing my calendar, the sending the proposals, uh, following up with clients to get them over the line, etc., that was handled by the sales coordinator. So that was a key very, very key step in freeing up my time so that now my throughput, my sales throughput is probably twice what it was and production? Uh, with probably, you know, less than half the time I was spending on sales previously. So that's, that's a 400% increase. Uh, on the production side, um, you uh, installed a what we call a buffer board and a management information system, which is basically a couple of systems to keep tra uh, track of um, the production in the workflow and give 360 degree visibility to all production in the workflow, whereas prior to that it was sort of uh, within the heads of the, of the various account managers who have who manage the client relationships. So getting that all visible and out in the open with known deadlines and then having the, uh, the production coordinator who happens to be the same person as the sales coordinator to, to manage that and, and allocate the work to uh, our production team, that has... Um, made everyone more sort of focused on the production tasks at hand and, and less focus on sort of managing competing priorities of which, you know, where they might only have partial visibility of, of the whole system. So that's been the other key uh, initiative and that too has created very, very significant benefits in terms of throughput, on-time delivery, there's less chaos in the system so we feel more relaxed about doing the work and delivering on time. Um, quality quality assurance has you know, improved and we've got greater visibility on when we should add new staff and when we should add new projects and what sort of capacity we have in the system and exactly where we have it. Okay, and in the, we've just got a few seconds remaining literally, but the question people always ask is, have sales gone up? Absolutely. Uh, in about five months, sales have gone up by probably 30%. 30 um, but more importantly than that, we actually have a roadmap for getting over that that difficult hurdle 
um, that we faced before at a, at a you know at a certain revenue level. Now we have a roadmap to go beyond that and double.